Good evening, and welcome to the May 2019 commencement for the College of Education and Human Development at Lamar University. My name is Bob Spina, and I am honored to serve as Dean of the College. We gather tonight to recognize and honor our graduates for their tireless efforts, focused dedication, and deserved achievements in the demanding and competitive arena of higher education. For years, our graduates have been striving to reach their educational milestones we celebrate this evening. Graduates, you have made it. 
Congratulations to each of you for achieving your goal. Now it is time to set new goals. We challenge you to continue to learn, to use your knowledge wisely, and to excel throughout the rest of your life. Please turn your attention to the video screens and hear from some of our 2019 graduates about their time here at Lamar University. Lamar in general surprised me. The first week of class was kind of the moment I realized there were a lot of brilliant students at Lamar. You can become a leader on your campus and make an impact. It really feels like home whenever you hear your family. It's a beautiful campus. I love the aesthetics of Lamar. It's really about engaging yourself and being, you know, open to new experiences. They are really pushing Lamar University to become a 21st century university. This is the key university to attend to see that growth within yourself. Once you graduate, you're not the same freshman that entered. And there is no better place to find opportunity than Lamar University. Lamar is very student oriented. They want their students to succeed and that is the main reason I chose it. Basically our internship program, we are shadowing other dietitians in our field. When I first went in, I was a little skeptical. I didn't think I was going to like athletics. I am a returning student. I had a desire to come back and my plan was to return to school after my youngest child graduated. So in 2014, I applied for school and I got accepted. I felt like as soon as I stepped on campus, I was accepted. I think just kind of being a part of the year that I think is gonna turn the program around is, is extremely special. But once I started working in athletics, it completely changed the entire game. They're learning nutrition knowledge that they didn't previously have and then I'm learning to consult with them. Being able to go and play in the FCS playoffs, that was, that was fun. I think from there, it's, it's just made me realize how lucky I really am to, to be part of this university. After visiting the campus and, and hearing about the exercise science program and how it was run and, and what I could do here, I really decided that, that this was the best situation for me. I want the people to see that just because a person's background that doesn't mean they can't accomplish goals and be successful and I want to be that face of that person that shows the world that your background doesn't matter. We got to work with uh, food service so we worked with Greenlight Catering. Working with alumni is really neat because seeing them actually thrive in their career knowing that they went to Lamar I think is one of the best parts. It's like you're seeing yourself in the future. I'm planning on getting my doctorate in chiropractic. I'm hoping to set up my own clinic one day, so obviously I'm gonna have to be the leader in that position, running an organization. It's, it's almost like running a business. That, that's been huge, and I think that had a huge impact on the way I approach running the business or just dealing with patients. Most of the teachers had experience in the elementary schools, and they talked about their experience in a classroom, and they taught us from them their experience which made it more real life for us. I never thought when I graduated high school, starting here, that I was gonna be in the position that I am now. I thought I was gonna to have to do this all on my own. Now looking back, I'm just like, wow, there's, this is amazing. I plan to teach in an economically disadvantaged area because I want to use my degree to let other students see that education is the key to success and that with perseverance, you can do anything. The people I've met, the experiences that I've had, they're definitely something that'll stay with me for a lifetime. You really become part of something special. It's something that I think will change your life forever. My experience here was awesome, and I would tell anybody, go to Lamar because it's worth it. Lamar is a community thing. This is a Southeast Texas thing, and I'm just proud to be here. Our graduates 
come from three countries outside the United States, from 34 states other than Texas, and from 281 cities and towns from every region within Texas. We would also like for you to know that the College of Education and Human Development is rapidly expanding its international footprint. Graduates, your memory will forever appreciate this occasion. And this is a day in your life that you will be surrounded by many who care a great deal about you. On this day, you have many emotions, one of them being gratitude. I would like for you to join me as we express our appreciation to them. Would the parents of our candidates please stand and be recognized? Would the grandparents of our candidates please stand and be recognized? Would the spouses, children, and grandchildren of our candidates please stand and be recognized? Would the friends and other relatives of our candidates please stand and be recognized? This evening, we share the joy and excitement of commencement with all of you. Thank you for joining us. At the heart of the college is a supportive and nationally acclaimed faculty. They have provided our students with a contemporary and valuable higher education that is second to none. Due to their diligence and efforts, our graduates are knowledgeable, highly skilled, worldly, and properly prepared for life and careers. Would our faculty please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Please be seated. At this time, I would like to introduce the participants in the platform. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Starting to my left on the back row, David Short, University Registrar. Dr. Lisa Wines, a reader from the Counseling Department. Dr. Talisa Titabo, a reader from the Department of Educational Leadership. Ms. Angelica Figueroa, President of the Dean's Student Advisory Council. Dr. Teresa Simpson, Special Assistant to the Dean. Dr. Freddie Titus, who is representing the Department of Teacher Education. Dr. Dan Chillick, Chair of Health and Kinesiology Department. On the back row to my right, Dr. Kevin Dotson, Dean of the Honors College. Dr. William Horn, Dean of the Graduate College. Dr. Jamika Mott, Instructor of Voice, Music Department. Back row may be seated. On the front row to my left, Dr. Jill Killo, Chair of the Department of Family and Consumer Sciences. Dr. Diane Mason, Chair of Educational Leadership and Director of Graduate Studies and Research. Dr. Wendy Greenwich, Chair of the Counseling Department. Dr. Jimmy Simmons, President Emeritus. Dr. Rebecca Weinbaum, Associate Dean of the College. The Honorable Keith F. Giblin, United States Magistrate Judge and our guest speaker tonight. On the front row to my right, Dr. Lula Henry, who is the mace bearer for tonight's ceremony. Dr. John Bello Aguno, Vice President for Diversity and Inclusion. Mr. Craig Ness, Vice President for Finance and Operations. Dr. Brendan Nichols, Vice Provost for Digital Learning. Dr. Joseph Norgram, 
Acting Associate Provost, and Dr. Kenneth Evans, the President of Lamar University. It is also my pleasure to introduce uh, our conductor, Dr. Andrew McMahon, and members of the Lamar University Commencement Brass Ensemble. Their music adds so much to this special occasion. Thank you for being with us. <laughs> to the graduating class of 2019, this moment allows me the special opportunity to extend my sincere and enthusiastic congratulations to you. Graduates, commencement is the beginning, and accordingly, another typical emotion on graduation day is the anxiety of, am I ready and what next? If you think this moment has come too soon, I urge you not to worry. You have all completed a program of studies which has taught you to think critically, to express opinions in a civilized manner, to evaluate options, to make informed decisions, and to move forward in life. It helps you develop confidence in yourself and what you believe. This ceremony tonight attests that you are indeed ready. The university degree you are about to receive remains relatively uncommon in our nation and is truly rare throughout the world. Only three of 10 American adults hold a baccalaureate degree. The percentage is smaller among Texans and smaller still among Southeast Texans. By any standard or measure, you are positioned to join the educational elite in our society. You have completed a difficult, taxing, and costly journal, journey from where you started years ago. Please know that Lamar University is proud of you. The College of Education and Human Development is proud of you. Your community, state, and nation are proud of you. Your family and friends are proud of you, and most importantly, you should be proud of yourself. Your university education has equipped you to receive and enjoy the riches of the world, and has prepared you to continue to learn as you move into a new life. Enjoy and use your education to its fullest, and you and everyone you touch will be more prosperous for it. As a gift from all of us here at the College of Education and Human Development, we are proud to give each of you a t-shirt as you leave the ceremony this evening. This t-shirt has a message, a message encouraging you to be part of our college alumni network as a way to reconnect with each and every one of you and provide new and exciting ways to partner together as you begin your careers. So don't forget to pick up your t-shirt on your way out. It is, it is now my pleasure and honor to introduce tonight's commencement speaker. The Honorable Keith F. Giblin took, off, took the oath of office as United States Magistrate Judge on October 1 of 2004. He was reappointed for a second term, which he began serving on October 1 of 2012. In addition to presiding over criminal cases and general civil cases, Judge Giblin has handled a large number of intellectual property cases, including pretrial management, markman hearings, and trials. He has been a panelist and presenter during numerous legal seminars and has spoken on topics including federal practice, criminal law, and patent litigation. While on the bench, he has conducted numerous mediations in a variety of civil cases. Judge Giblin received a Bachelor of Science degree in physics from Lamar University 
and a Doctor of Jurisprudence from South Texas College of Law. While on the bench, he also attended the University of Houston's Law Center's LLM program, earning an LLM in Intellectual Property Law. He is currently enrolled as an MBA student at Lamar University. He is a graduate of the Episcopal Diocese of Texas Iona School of Ministry. He is an ordained Episcopal priest and currently serves as vicar of St. Paul's Episcopal Church in Orange. Judge Giblin is also an adjunct professor at Lamar University in the Criminal Justice Department. He is, he is a past president of Jefferson County Bar Association. Prior to becoming a United States Magistrate Judge, Judge Giblin, Giblin was the attorney in charge of the Beaumont Division of the United States Attorney's Office for the East, Eastern District of Texas and was assigned to organized crime uh, organized crime uh, drug enforcement task force where he supervised criminal investigations conducted by the Federal Bureau of Investigation and the Drug Enforcement Administration and other federal agencies. Judge Giblin has been married to his wife Joyce for 38 years and they have four sons and one granddaughter. Please join me in welcoming Judge Giblin to the podium. <laughs> I gotta tell you, you guys are a rowdy group. Aren't you happy? Aren't you happy? Let's hear it. We're gonna get along just fine these next five or 10 minutes. I can tell you that, okay. I wanna thank, I wanna thank President Evans and, and, uh, and Dean Spina for inviting me to speak tonight. You can't believe what an honor and privilege it is and, and I, I appreciate this opportunity. But that being said, that being said, I have no clue why they asked me, of all people, to speak to this distinguished group of future educators. Because if they had looked back at my early years in school, many years ago, they would have discovered that I was not quite the stellar student. In fact, I was the kind of youngster that your professors warned you about. That being said, no one believes me that I'm doing this today, so bear with me because what I want to do is take a quick selfie. <laughs> Y'all smile, come on smile. Wave, wave. I gotta send it to my friends, they're not gonna believe this, I tell you. <laughs> I wanna tell you something about me. Like, like many of y'all, I had the, the best, most attentive and loving parents that a boy could have growing up. But like I said, let's just say I wasn't the scholarly type years ago. It all started in the first grade at Eugene Field Elementary. I have the record at Eugene Field Elementary on Concord Road that stands to this very day, stands for over 50 years. I spent time in detention on the first day of school. And it was detention during recess at 10 o'clock. I didn't even make it the whole day. I didn't get the first day under my belt until I did time in the big house. Yeah, I was a bad boy in elementary school, I'll tell you that. Miss Byram, my first grade teacher, was trying to teach us to write our numbers in a line. And then when you get to 10, go down to 11, one through nine and 10, 11, in a line. Not me being a nonconformist and a renegade, I want to write my numbers all over the page. Even on the back, went straight to detention, didn't pass go. In second grade, Miss Linus correctly noticed that young Keith had a problem with reading comprehension. She started a free after school reading program at her house to try to help me and other kids catch up. But bless her heart, when she turned her back, I spent more time with my nose in her refrigerator than I did in the books. I don't know how much my reading comprehension 
went up that year, but I put on 15 pounds that summer. <laughs> My third grade teacher, Ms. Martin, is still around today. I see her around town all the time. She's very, very proud of me. She sees me around town nowadays, and she points that finger at me, and she tells everyone, I taught that boy in the third grade all three years. <laughs> My friends, who I still you know, hang out with that I went to elementary school, tease me. They joked that my poor mama had to come up to school and talk to Mr. Carlisle, my principal, to pass me on to the next grade because I was too big for my desk and I'd already started getting a beard. <laughs> In middle school, I hit my prime. Oh yeah, I hit my prime. They could paddle you back then. You know, that was the old days. Your parents and grandparents probably told you they could paddle you. But they had the coaches do it for them. Because, see, I always had teachers that were kind of older and didn't look like a paddle real good. they get the coaches to do it for them. And if those coaches are still alive today, I bet they got arthritis in their shoulders from swinging that board on me. Academically, I made a solid D in eighth grade algebra. And I celebrated like I won the lotto. <laughs> I discovered a little bit of alcohol in high school, like many of us do. And boy, did that help my grades a lot. <laughs> I got caught cheating in Miss Holiday's history class. I wrote the answers. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm telling y'all this. We must be close. I wrote the answers on my hand, and she caught me cheating. Who has time to study? I have no clue, still don't, who let me in Lamar University. They must have got my application mixed up with somebody else. My, I rocked the academic world here at LU with a 33 on Professor Billy Reed's first calculus test, calculus test. He took me aside and he said, boy, I know you can do better than that. I got the news about two weeks later. It was a Saturday morning when I turned 18 and I was a freshman at Lamar. Now my mother, who was the center of my world, who loved me unconditionally, had suddenly passed away. My sister was hysterical when she called me. I raced home, I drowned in grief, and my world turned upside down. You see, I had lost someone that saw something in me that I never saw it myself. I lost someone who believed in me when I didn't even believe in myself. I had lost someone who dedicated their entire life to lifting me up and someone who never, ever, ever gave up on me. This made me sit back. That was the moment. And I sat back and I reflected. And I remembered not only was it my mom, it was those men and women those educators who, like my mom, saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. It was those educators who believed in me when I didn't believe in myself, who, would, who dedicated their lives to educating me and never, ever gave up. I remember Miss Byram who taught me how to love math in the first grade. I remember Miss Linus in that summer reading program instilling in me a lifelong love of reading in the books. I remember Miss Martin, who to this day tells me how proud she is of me. I remember Mr. Smith and Billy Reed, who, taught, who made algebra and calculus come alive. I remember Miss Holiday, who caught me cheating. You know what she did to me when she caught me cheating? She should have failed me. She should have expelled me. She should have sent a note home. But that lady sat down and cried at her desk because tears ran down her cheek because I had disappointed her. Because she had expected honesty and integrity from me and I had let her down. I remembered each and every one of those educators, each and every one. I remembered how they looked at a boy who had nobody but his mama and his daddy who thought he would amount to a hill of beans and they saw something in him. I would not be where I stand today if it wasn't for those saints who dedicate their lives as educators. So today, standing right here at this podium, I have to tell you, 
that I realize I will never have the opportunity to tell all them, thank you. Thank you for their love, for their dedication, for the impact that they have had on my life. So today, after thinking about it, I think I know why God might have called me to this podium to speak to you today. Those students whose lives that you touch may be like me. They may never be able to come back for whatever reason to come back and thank you for the profound impact that you have had on their lives. So I'm here now, ahead of time, thanking you for the sacred work that you're about to do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for dedicating your life to the care and nature of children who are the most precious gifts from God. There is a place for you in heaven. Thank you for making schools our safe place to learn. Thank you for not only teaching reading, writing, and arithmetic, but also integrity, honesty, and, and virtue. Thank you for, look, for you looking at your students and seeing their potential that others might not see. Thank you for being, in some cases, the only loving adult that a child may have in his or her life. Thank you for your patience. And thank you for never, ever giving up on a challenged student like me. Because of you, because of you, a child will receive the love and attention he may never get from anyone else. Because of you, a child will have the educational foundation that they need to become a success in life. Because of you, a child may live out their dreams and become the person that God Almighty meant them to be. Because of you, some will become doctors who save lives. Because of you, some will become lawyers who fight for justice. And because of you, some will become pastors and priests who preach the love of God Almighty. And because of you, some will get that calling from God and become an educator. And they'll believe in their students the way you believed in them. Thank you for giving me the opportunity today to tell you thank you. May God bless each and every one of you on your journey. Thank you very much, Judge Giblin, for your encouraging remarks and for your support of Lamar University. You are very much appreciated. We will now have the certification of graduates. President Evans, please join me. Will the candidates for the master's, baccalaureate, and doctoral degrees please stand and remain standing? Please stand. <laughs> President Evans, on behalf of the faculty of the various departments, I am pleased to present the candidates who have met all the requirements for the listed degrees. Graduates, congratulations. Shortly, I'm going to shake each one of your hands, which at the moment appears to be an amazingly daunting task. Please know when I do so, I celebrate the culmination of this part of your degree journey. Who knows what other degrees might be in front of you. But also know that I also celebrate the opportunity that this university has had in being a part of your life. Thank you for that. So now my official role. By the authority vested in me and Lamar University by the Board of Regents of the Texas State University System, I confer upon you the degrees for which you've been certified, admitting you to all the rights and privileges which throughout the world pertain to those degrees. Unfortunately, you have one remaining task. Symbolizing the tradition that is universal, I'm going to ask you to move your tassel from the front right to the left. Congratulations, graduates. President Evans and guests, 
We will now have the presentation of the College of Education and Human Development's graduating class of May 2019, beginning with the doctoral and master's degree candidates, followed by the baccalaureate candidates, in the order as published in your program. Dr. Harn, please join President Evans, and Dr. Nichols, please come forward and present our doctoral candidates. Please be seated. Dr. Harm, please join Dr. Evans, President Evans and Registrar Short for the following um, graduates who have been recommended by the Dean of Graduate Studies and by the graduate faculty for the Doctorate of Education and Educational Leadership degree. I am pleased to present the name of Leticia Batista and her doctoral degree. Her doctoral advisor, Dr. Kelly Brown. Ms. Batista has been recommended for the doctoral degree in educational leadership. Congratulations, Dr. Batista. I am pleased to present the name of Mr. Keith Bridges and his doctoral advisor, Dr. Brett Walsh. <laughs> Congratulations, Dr. Bridges. I am pleased to present the name of Leonardo Caballero and his doctoral advisor, Dr. Neil Falk. Congratulations, Dr. Caballero. I'm pleased to present the name of, jo of Jennifer Davis and her doctoral advisor, Dr. Crystal Heinemann. Congratulations, Dr. Davis. I'm pleased to present the name of Eric Doby and his doctoral advisor, Dr. Neil Falk. Congratulations, Dr. Doby. I am pleased to present the name of Devana Brosenholm and her doctoral advisor, Dr. Brett Welch. Congratulations, Dr. Brosenholm. I am pleased to present the name of, Dr. of David Noblick and his doctoral advisor, Dr. Kay Shelton. <laughs> Congratulations, Dr. Noblick. I am pleased to present the name of Praise Ma and her doctoral advisor, Dr. Brett Welch. Congratulations, Dr. Ma. I am pleased to present the name of Atina Young and her doctoral advisor, Dr. Neil Falk. Congratulations, Dr. Young. 
And now we will proceed with the conferring of master's degree candidates and then the baccalaureate candidates in the order in which they are listed in the program. For the Masters of Education in Clinical Mental Health Counseling, Marilyn Bean. Gwendolyn Boyd McGee. Michaela Brown. Marielle Antoinette Chinozzi Mason. Mercedes Ludovina Clement. Kimberlyn Dion Courtney. Kevin Edward Daly. Corina Leigh Dahini. Hamdalet D. Ikenmodi. Alexia Florentin. Keone Jamila Franks, Andrea Michelle Griggs, Cortland Ray Hale, Kaylin Abigail Harden, Jasmine O'Shea Hawkins, Elizabeth Hernandez, Tynesia Himes, Ijama Donekas Johnson, Dominique Trayvon Jones, Chandrika Brichet Jones, Trinita Dawn Lewis, Amanda Angel Littlejohn, Monique Rosha Miller, Stella Iguma Ogbana, Jessica Prescott, Nicole Vantries Rich, Zia Skeppel. Donye Karee Smith, Caitlin Mary Taylor, Angela Dawn Thacker, Ashton Marie Wagner. For the Masters of Education in Counseling and Development, Priscilla Ann Aguirre. Emily Lauren Allport, Jenna Lee Ballard, Claudia Edith Ballin Garcia, Leticia Martinez Barbosa, Jessica Cien Barnett, Marissa D. Bernal. Leah Janae Bishop, Kinsey Lauren Bixler, Eunice May Bodecker, Susan Buffington Brooks, Jessica Ray Cantu, Jessica Lauren Carroll. Paige Copperhead Centeno, William Houston Chapman, Anna Beth Chalek, Memory John Clark, Cassie Nichelle Crane, Nicole Lynn Dillinger. Chastity Nicole Dunham, Tiffany M. Ellis, 
Crystalline Andrea Flores, Renee Marie Flores, Caitlin Marie Fulbray, Tamara Monique Ford, Sage Marie Gardner, Angelica Lorraine Garza, Denise Arlette Garza, Andre Michelle Ginder, Victoria Dawn Gotti, Rachel Elizabeth Gonzalez, Emily Darlene Gray, Megan Victoria Grisham, Amy J. Guerrera, Cristela Isabel Guerrero, Jessica Marie Hartman, Paige Lucy Hellman, Ali Gloria Hernandez, Trinidad Hernandez, Kaylee Hine Herrera, Latanya Elise Hillman, Chelsea Michelle Hiles, Shelly Suzanne. Irvin, Shirella Shanta Jackson, Laura Collins Janders, Martha Ann Germain, Donna Marie Johnson, Sandra Gail Johnson, Molly R. Jones, Shauna Renee Kyle, Jessica Carmen Lapeer, Rosa Elva Lada, Vincent Macias. Carmela Teresa Martinez, Sarah Ann Martinez, Emily Don Mason, Keisha Yvette McCord, Jolie Nicole Miller, Jeanette Milmo. Brittany Marie Mooney, Stephanie Lynn Oriana, Amy Raquel Orr, Sarai Oskoy, Jackie K. Owens, Erin Michelle Paquillette, Kristen Lynn Parson, Michelle Lee Pena, Tracy Pena, Jessica Renee Perez, Sandy Michelle Pinner, Stacy Lee Pruitt. America Ramirez, Sabrina Castillo Ramirez, 
Alyssa Nicole Reyna, Paula L. Roberson, Joanna Rodriguez, accepting a posthumous degree on the behalf of Amy Rojas is her father, Paul Rojas. Wendy Carolina Romero, Carol Dawn Roth, Habiba Fatima Salim, Brenda Karina Sanchez, Julie Marie Savage, Lachey Nicole Sizemore, Allison Gail Stevens, Erin Nicole Tarver, Ken Marie Thompson Slocum, Tabitha Renee Trevano, Heather Claire Valadez, Jennifer Madeleine Valadez, Rosa Marie Vieira, Jamie Lynn Way, Bethany Ann West, Kelly K. Wolf, For the Master of Education and Educational Administration, Angelica Nicole Anders. Nina Louise Baxter. Mary Bethel. Anna Cecilia Benavides. Dorothy Ann Hardy Birmingham. Heather Renee Beauchelet. Trelanda Lynette Branch. Lacey Morgan Breedlove. Alondra Hernandez Brewington. Brandon Maurice Brooks. Arthur Billy Brown. Shayna Renee Brown. Raymond Danielle Busey. Deborah Michelle Carpentier. Kiwana Deshawn Carter. Kevin James Chavis. Perla Cordova. Chad Logan Dell. <laughs> Laura Michelle Dada. Michelle Ann De Leon. Hannah Rian Durham. Lindsay Marie Eichenhorst. Talia Michelle Enju. Janet Elizabeth Erlinger. Emmanuel Estrada. Jose Armando Estrada. Dina Michelle Fontano. Jennifer Lee Frederick. Sherry Vice Furby. Shelby Jean Gadeke. Hannah Elizabeth Garcia. Omar Jose Garcia. 
Jonathan Vicente Garza. Patricia Elaine Garza. Barry Lee Goad. Michael Lewis Goldberg. Monique Yvette Green. Michael Jerome Guillory. Jennifer Hanna. Emmanuel John Harding. Deborah Hernandez Rodriguez. Aleda Atzimba Inoosa. Crystal Michelle Hodges. Lori Whitfield Holloway. Connie Cooper Horton. Courtney Nicole Howland. Amber Renee Huckabee. Brandon V. Jackson. Jolandria Monique Johnson. Lara Catherine Johnson. Terrence Dwayne Johnson. Chelsea Rochelle Jones. Douglas Lee Jones. Kelly Anderson Jones. Kristen Marie Johnsey. Kelly Boyd Kirkland. Letitia Renee Legreer. Christopher William Wesley Lewis. Alyssa Mercedes Longoria. Anna Karen Lopez. Melanie Denise Lowry. Jose Luis Luna. Yvette Marie Luna. Stephanie Suzanne Majewski. Aaron Vale Martin. Arthur Charles Martinez. Juan Pablo Martinez. Marissa S. Martinez. Amy Lynn Massey. Randall Eugene Mao. Kamisha A. McDaniel. Keisha Nicole McKeithen. Shantae Marie McKellar. Lacey Erin McQuiston. Sochila Minares. Samantha Diane Morganroth. Dewey Clayton O'Neill. Kelly Diane O'Banion. Cynthia Holland O'Neill. Stephanie Janelle Ortiz. Regina Lee Perez. Angela Nicole Piedras. Eligio Robles. Moses Rodriguez Reyna. Cristobal Rojas. Brandy Beatrice Roy. Chase S. Russell. Rigoberto Sanchez. Natalie Faith Scott. 
Samuel Devon Shingles. <laughs> Tanisha Mercer Standberry. Lauren Renee Thomas. Mia Kashinta Times. Nemia Vergara. Felix Viapando. Ashley Luis Paloha Wellborn. Geronda Alice Womack. For the Master of Education in Digital Learning and Leading, Jennifer Aguirre. Juan Rodolfo Aguirre. Maishika Janae Bill. Jennifer Lynn Carlson. Cami Collins. Jessica Christine Gurley. Brooke Ashley Josephs. Margaret Paige Robertson Leger. Letitia T. McGee. Candace L. Moffitt. Taylor Renee Pons. <laughs> Melissa Ann Summerford. Jared James Tavares. David LaFleur Banks, Jr. Dakesha Lynette Bell. Daniel K. Briggs. Jessica Ray Cadis. Courtney Michelle Seltzer Cross. Norma Espinosa. Joanna Funkhauser. Enrique Garza III. Roel Rafael Gutierrez. Tara Ann Hollyfield. Amanda Majid. Laricia Darlene Martin. Robin Renee McEkin. Jessica Lynn McKinnis. Omar Andre Pastrana. Janitria Lene Proctor. Nancy Araceli Ramirez. Molly Marie Schoner. Erica Israel Sellers. Kevin Michael Stahlecker. Darian Freeland Wilkerson. Thomas Michael Williams, Jr. For the Masters of Public Health, Hannah Elaine Brister. Joshua Lee Davis, Jennifer Dawn Hinote, Sanji M. Mims, Haley Nicole Sobtek, Tamara Michelle Winfield, For the Masters of Science in Kinesiology, Matthew Benjamin Arnold, Katie Elizabeth Buckley, Ali Danielle Burns, James Marshall Crow, Karina Garcilazo, 
Jake Harrington Nash, Zachary Ty Norman, Jessica Elaine Ringo, Catherine Ann Sancha, for the Masters of Education in Special Education, Barbara Ann Arnett, Heather Lynn Burris, Amy Erskins, Ashley Davis Garza, Miriam Guerrera, Heather Danielle Hales, Christy Ann Harris, Denisa Watson Jones, Gay Manette Victoriano Mallory, Amanda Pebbles Martin, Giovanna Yvette McCauley, Candace A. Randall, Tony Nicole Shepherd, Casey Lynn Strange, Cleon Mantra Tolerantson, Chelsea Marie Woods, Carla Jean Meyer, for the Masters of Education in Teacher Leadership, Brandy Chandrell Armstrong, Shayla Chantel Shanae Brown, Renee Denise Carroll, Yvonne Cortina Meadows, Daisy Lynetta Diaz, Anne Marie Gerhardt Gladden, Alexis Michelle Hayes, Diana J. James, Blanca Delia Jones, Wendy Gabriela Madrid, Carol R. Mallory, Justina M. Malone, Kelsey Lauren Middleton, Robin Nelson, Michelle Lee Parcells, Catherine M. Perez, Nicole Ryan Pickard, Kula May Smith, Maria Lizette Sacedo Sneed. <laughs> Christy Lynn Warren. Jaquita Watson. Andrew Lee Yao. For the Bachelors of Science and Family Studies, Jessica Nicole Alexander, Shayna Devana Diggs, Summa Cum Laude Holly Irene Johnson. For the Bachelor of Science in Fashion Retailing Merchandising, Janora Marie Hayes. For the Bachelor of Science in Nutrition, Dietetic, and Hospitality, Wanda J. Carr. 
Jennifer Loez Kunine. Graduating Magnum Cum Laude, Catherine Elizabeth Darby. Catherine Victoria Griffin. Lakira Jabon Harrison. Shintavia Denise Harvey. Emily Catherine Hughes. Graduating summa cum laude, Patrick Arden Johnson. Stephanie L. Corin. Elizabeth M. Patterson. Maylin Ruth Tonder. Annabelle Vega H. For the Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science and Fitness Management, Cedric Douglas Antwine. Miranda Caitlin Cook. Graduating cum laude, Delani Marie Crowder. Megan Elizabeth Dupree. Alante Duane Green. Shomira Edith Guevara. O'Donald Handy. Ekichukwu Kalichi Iwezi. Darian Jamal Lathan. Tin Kim Lee. Dejanira Alexis Phillips. Laura Jasmine Sanchez. Gabrielle Savage. Jasmine Elise Scott. Zaria Marie Scott. Corey Adam Stringer. Graduating cum laude. Alex Chun Han So. Graduating cum laude. Kirsten Lene Weatherly. For the Bachelor of Science in Health, Desiree Kaylee Enderly. Bria Simone Gregory. Eric Guillory Jr. Ashley May Hall. Raven Michelle Jenkins. Brianna Carey Moore. Bolahan Adolapo Omotara. Kiyoshia S. Richard. Tamar Angelique Thomas. Maya Ann Washington. For the Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology, Haley Nicole Carter. Brody Lee Fesco. Graduating cum laude, Jasmine Figueroa. Roy Dwayne Higgins. Graduating cum laude, Jason Dahl Landry. Jacob Lynn Underhill. For the Bachelor of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies, Kinley Elizabeth Absher. <laughs> Graduating summa cum laude, Ricky Lee Bowden. 
Graduating cum laude, Taylor Michelle Bright. Graduating cum laude, Bailey Elizabeth Burt. Graduating summa cum laude, Cecilia Yasmin Carrillo Carrillo. Graduating summa cum laude, Keely Danielle Coombs. Graduating summa cum laude, Courtney Cunningham. <laughs> summa cum laude, Taylor Nicole Harville. <laughs> cum laude, Macy Lee Haygood. <laughs> Kendall Patricia Ann Henson. Graduating magna cum laude, Jessica Elaine Huff. Magna cum laude, Courtney Lee Johnson. Kaylee Canidas. Lauren Chasri Kibido. Catherine Michelle McDonald. Autumn Alexis Needenthal. Monica Gabriella Ozuna. Tony Pauline Pickard. Graduating cum summa cum laude, Megan Rochelle Rollison. Rio Honors College graduate and summa cum laude, Hannah Elizabeth Roussel. Graduating cum laude, Cheryl Ann Seals. <laughs> Graduating magna cum laude, Sierra Nicole Tinkle. Graduating magna cum laude, Kaylin Cote Verrett. <laughs> Tiffany Michelle Whitney. Graduating magna cum laude, Sarah Joy Williams. Let's give a round of applause for our graduates. Woo! Okay, we're almost there, hold on. The Plummer Award honors the baccalaureate graduates with the highest grade point average in their graduating class. Would the following graduates come forward and receive your certificate and check from President Evans? Ms. Cecilia Carrillo, Bachelor of Science, Interdisciplinary Studies. Ms. Ms. Hannah Russell, Bachelor of Science, Interdisciplinary Studies. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor and privilege to present the class of 2019.
Graduates, today you join more than 80,000 others throughout the world who are Lamar alumni. I would like to take this opportunity to extend to each of you an invitation to, jo to join Lamar's Alumni Association. Alumni membership provides continued involvement with the university and college by providing network, networking and opportunities to help other students achieve what you have achieved. I encourage you to join this important arm of the university. The Alumni Association has friendly people waiting to greet you and will be in touch. Of, co of course, you can always find them through Lamar's website. Please join. And with that, that concludes our ceremony. Thank you. Congratulations, class of 2019, and go Cardinals. Please, please stand for Lamar's alma mater as Big Red and Lou will join us. No.